Man, crazy, 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 crazy times, man, especially in Chicago, man, especially in Chicago. Um, don't know if y'all heard, but drill artist Chief Keith, his right hand man, who was recently just released from prison a few years back, T Slick, was just tragically killed in a house party in Chicago, man. Um, I think it was on the the outside suburbs in Chicago. We're going to get into it. We're going to look at it, man. But, uh, yo, man, it's crazy. See, a lot of people, they don't really know who T-Slick is. T-Slick was actually the nephew of Capo, GBE Capo, who was, you know, another Chief Keith's right-hand man that was, you know, killed in Chicago a few years back. Cap, he had a promising, you know, rap career. Cap and Duop's brothers. Duop, that bitch with uh, Chief Keith. They was also, you know, uh, T Slick's nephew, so that was his uncle. But T Slick is the guy that was used to hang around. We used to see with Chief Keith that had the one eye, you know. Um, and he was just tragically killed at a house party, man. You know, if you grew up around Chicago and you were a gang member, man, you know about house parties. You know. Not to attend house parties. You know how house parties can get. You know how house parties usually get, especially when people be drinking. Uh, and the thing about house parties, you never know who's going to be there. If you got some ops with some people and there's a hundred people there, you don't know who those other people are associated with. You know what I'm saying? So you never know who could arrive at the party. And most of the time, they'll be uninvited. You know, uh... Just for instance, if you chilling in the backyard or the front yard with your people, somebody pulls up to drop somebody off, and they just happen to see you over there, and they like, ain't that such and such they've been looking for? Yeah, that's him. All right, let me make this phone call. They make a phone call. Somebody comes up, drives by, shoots you. You know, uh, it's just very sad and unfortunate, man. As you know, this is this happened, but this happens a lot. In Chicago, around the gang culture, gang members and stuff. That's why a lot of people always say, if you're a gang member and you've been around Chicago and you may be doing some things or you, you know, kin to some people that's done some things and that's a lot of people, get the hell up out of Chicago and don't come back. And if you do come back, don't tell nobody you're there. Don't be out hanging around. Come to visit your family and just get the hell back out of here. You know, um, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive that Chief Keith had a room for T Slick. Or he probably was chilling with T Slick. T Slick was probably spending time with Chief Keith. You know where Chief Keith's um house is because Chief Keith did. He wasn't stupid, man. He knew, hey, look, if I stay in Chicago, especially after he blew up and was able to get out on his own, if I stay in Chicago, I'm just gonna end up in jail today. Cause these people want my head and I ain't gonna let them take me. So I'm gonna have to take them first. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be involved. He had an aspiring rap career he was chasing. He said, I can stay here and be broke and chase all this stuff, chase the wrong things, or I can move out of the city and move to somewhere where I don't have to constantly look over my shoulder, constantly look and who's in the store that I'm about to go into. You don't have to do that when you move out of the city, man. T. Slick just got out of prison, man. He's been in prison for a long time. You know, um, let's see actually what he went to prison for. Okay, so he got paroled in 2024. I swear I thought he was out in like 2023. T-Slick get paroled in 2024. He got sentenced to 15 years for shooting at the police when they shot at Sosa back in 2012. See, that just lets you know right there he was Sosa's right-hand man. So evidently, when all the word was going around that Chief Keith was a shooter, Chief Keith was this and that, Chief Keith shot at the police. Uh, now, it was rumored that Chief Keith did shoot at the police, but I think he just aimed at the police and then, you know, they called him and stuff like this. But he's been in jail for years, man. He's been in jail since like 2012, 2013. He just gets out. 
you know, uh, and you got to think about it. He's not been out and around all this since all of this took off, since everybody got rich and famous, everybody moved out, moved around. You can see kind of why he would want to be in a Chicago house party. He got to miss all that young years. He got to miss all that time. Everybody else was doing these things. He probably wanted to come back, enjoy the culture, enjoy family, friends, get to experience some of that stuff that he missed. Whenever he went to jail or whenever, whenever he went to prison, he was probably doing those things. He was probably visiting the house parties and stuff. And stuff has changed so much since 15 years or 10 years or however long it's been, about 10 years. People have grew up. Kids have grew up. A lot of the people you hung around in is not the same no more. They either dead and gone or moved away. Those kids, younger brothers, your ops that you had, their younger brothers know who you are. You might not who the, know who they are, and that's what makes it so dangerous. You know, a lot of shit changes fast paced. Chicago's fast paced. Things happen. Bam, 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 bam. You got to be ready. You got to be standing on your all ten toes at all times, man. You cannot fall for the bullshit. T Sleep was too smart from that. He should have known better. It's a very sad situation. He should have known better not to be at damn house parties, man. House parties is no good in Chicago, man. You know, um, and it's, it's just so unfortunate that these guys have to lose so many people that's close to him. He was 29 years old. Let's read what it says. I just broke my heart with this one, bro. Not, not pretty well. Might not even be in a news article yet. Especially after so many of your people died dead and gone for the same stuff. I mean, house parties are no joke in Chicago. I mean, look at why look at um O five one Melly. You know, uh, he got ambushed and killed in a house party, you know. He survived so many other incidents and stuff, and just to be killed in a house party, just like T. Slick, man, he, he beat the odds. He had a second chance at life. You know, he made it through those years. He went to prison, got out of prison. But I'm pretty sure he got killed on like the outs, outskirts of Chicago. I don't think it was. He spent 10 years in prison. Let's see what King AK said about it. Mark Robinson has shown he has no respect for our culture or our history. He said we love to kill each other and embrace deviant hypersexual behavior. He's even said that we as black people owe for slavery. Mark Robinson doesn't speak for me and he won't fight for us. Looking for the best music for your videos? Mm -hmm. Then you should check out Artlist. Oh, King AK47, Voice of the Streets, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video, man. So I know y'all all probably heard about now, man. Sad news, man. Um, Chief Keep Lil Reese, uh, No Limit affiliate, Glow Gang affiliate. You know, uh, T Slick, man. Uh, he was shot and killed in Illinois, man, and he wasn't even shot and killed in Chicago. He was shot and killed in the suburb of Chicago. You know what I mean? Like I said. Slick. He one of the people, you know, that's an original face of the drill scene, man. When Chief Keep came out, you know, he was a dude that was always with Chief Keep. Chief Keep was always shouting his name out. You know what I mean? So that made a lot of people want to know, well, who is T Slick? And that was back when Facebook was booming. 
You know what I mean? And people gravitated towards T Slick. Think about it, it is with T Slick. Ain't nobody really have enough time to know the dude because he did 10 years in jail. So really, he ain't even had no life like that. You see what I'm saying? Because he just got out not too long ago. So picture this, man. You grow up as a child. You see what I'm saying? Then you get a little bit of teenage years. You get booked. You... Is this what I, I was just saying a while ago? And I ain't seen none of these videos yet. I just got in my phone, my phone just died on topics that I wanted to cover, and this is one of the topics I wanted to cover, you know, T-Slick, t man, because I remember T-Slick from back in those years, man. Like I said, I'm a, a lot of people say that, Chicago, you know, uh, drill music historian and all, I ain't gonna say I'm a historian, but I got a, not, a lot of knowledge of drill music artists and stuff because, like I said, I'm around that same age, so I was keeping up with their music and listening to their music because they was putting it out. I was listening to L.A. Capone songs as soon as they was dropping because I was into that. I was into the whole drill culture. I remember on Academics when he had the baby face making the, you know, Warren Ch Chirac docuseries, man. So I know a lot of these cats. I know what they done. I know, you know, um, it's like Moo Boo Crump, you know, um. Uh, he was on his rise. He was the scorekeeper. You know, he got killed. You know, uh, pissed him inside a bush. I mean, stuff, it's, it's just so crazy, man. So unfortunate, you know, that people in even tend to go to these these house parties and these clubs. And that's like Lil Dirk's brother. You too rich and famous to be going to club. Oh, you too rich and famous to be anywhere around Chicago. Letting people know you. Letting people see you in that surrounding area and stuff and like people can't make phone calls people don't have cars people can't drive 20 minutes around to come get you if they really want you to prove a point you know even if that even if it's going to cause retaliation people just to get that killed just to get that name up just to get that get back people do crazy things man and we're not saying t slick was innocent we're not saying he's a saint he could have been taking shots at people saying slick stuff you know, but still at the end of the day, you got to be smarter. You got to move smarter. When you know better, you do better. And I, ev evidently, him being in prison, um, he just didn't get to know better part, man. And I wish Chief Keefe and them would have brought him in and said, hey, man, look, don't be doing like that stuff. If you want to go back to Chicago and visit your family, cool. We're going to keep you up here. We're going to keep you straight. Hey, just do a little music. Sign to my label. You know, just keep your little money coming in and stuff, and we're going to be straight, you know. Uh, kind of like Tato's doing. Tato ain't been back. Tato has been back in Chicago because I seen him posting pictures and stuff. And I promise you, that's after the fact. That's after he left. He probably posted those pictures after he left and stuff. So people won't roll up on him then and stuff because it's real dangerous, man. You don't wanna. You don't wanna lose your life over something petty over some bullshit that could have been avoided in the whole circumstances. You know what I mean? But hey, man, RPT slip. Let's get back to this video. You go to jail, you do 10 whole years of your life, all them grown years gone. Then you get out, and shortly after you get out, you get shot and killed, you get your life took. Man, what kind of life is that, bro? You see what I'm saying? Ain't no lie. What kind of life is that? Now, everybody got re-familiar with T-Slick. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned as we attempt to commune with the devil. From his viral interview with FYBJ Man, you know what I mean? He got on there, he was telling stories about how he lost his eye, THF, bruh, bruh, all that. He also brought up the fact of... You see that chain he slit wearing? They say Capo died. That's for Capo. That's for his uncle. Like I was speaking about earlier, man. Cap was T Slick uncle. Duop, T Slick uncle. You know, uh... Look, even his baseball cap, man, got Cap's name with a halo. Man, this shit's sad, man. This shit's sad, bro. That shit really hurt my heart, man. That shit really hurt my heart, bro, for real. Dang. THF, bruh, bruh, all that. He also brought up the fact of, you know what I mean, um, he was tired of fighting in, in clubs, and, you know, it seemed like he had his head on straight. There was a scene waiting that he kind of got locked up for defending Chief Keep, you know what I mean? But he said Chief Keep 
was looking out for him when he was in jail. You know what I mean? Chief Keep ain't forget about him, though. But it seemed like from that interview, he had a head on his shoulders. Now, you got people DMing me talking about, oh, this get back because T Slick had bodies. Or this get back because he was affiliated with bodies. Oh, this get back. Is that exactly not what I just said? See, man, this is what I be talking about, man. I'm telling you. I, I be knowing this shit, man. I be knowing exactly what in the fuck be going on. You know why? It ain't because I'm some super sort of genius. I, I can see the future. Because I use fucking common sense. I use my brain. I know what comes around goes around if you don't move around, man. Be aware of your surroundings, but also be aware of getting the fuck out. Getting away. FYBJ Main ain't around Chicago hanging out in the streets going to house parties no more. Why? Because he's got too much to lose. Besides him having a career to lose, he's got his life to lose, man. And that's one thing you can't get back. You can make another YouTube channel. You can make another song. But you can't make another you, man. You cannot make another life, man. You, yourself, and you only. And take care of that shit before you lose it. Get back because of who he was affiliated with or who he was from or whatever. I don't know what it was. But the rumors is that T. Slick lost his life in Peoria at a house party or something. Man, listen, man. We don't do them. You know what I mean? Family get gatherings, all that, bro. Them over with. Them days over with. You feel what I'm saying? So it just be crazy how you can even... Not be in your own city, you feel what I'm saying? We the seen it with bomb, we the seen through the now even though it's still in Illinois and it's still Illinois politics that go on in Peoria, it's still a suburb of Chicago. You wouldn't think nothing gonna happen to you, you know, in the suburbs, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But some of these suburbs tore up. And it's just like I don't understand how this happened to the man, man. And it's just sad this once again show y'all this is another example of why game banging and street lifestyle don't be worth it because T Slick didn't even get the, okay, yeah, he was messing with Drench, and they released the song. It was going, you know, for some views, but he didn't even have a life, bro. The man, I don't even think the man was in his 30s, bro. You see what I'm saying? This should show y'all, like, this type of lifestyle, and who knows? I don't know if he bucked up with somebody, and you know what I mean? What happened? But they are saying it's a shoot. Now, when I try to look it up, I don't see no shooting in Peoria, I don't see a murder happening. I know everything don't hit the news, but damn it, not that many people getting killed in Peoria. You see what I'm saying? So you would think that the murder would be on the news, but it's too many people saying rest in peace. And, bruh, somebody highlighted something in the comment section of one video. He said, man, there's more people saying rest in peace to T. Slick than it was. Glad that he was free. And I'm like, damn, it always be like that, man. Like, you get love when you here, yes, but you get way more love when you're gone. And obviously, T. T Slick was loved by a lot of people, bruh, and a lot of people appreciated him for some reason. I don't know the dude, you know what I mean? But if you get love from all them people from that many hoods, different hoods, you got to think about it. I see some whole block niggas posting them, no limit niggas posting them, 600 niggas posting them, um, um, other niggas from everywhere else posting them. I see some niggas from the hood. Bro, that's crazy, man. That's crazy and sad at the same time. P.O. This might be it right here. Damn, did he get shot inside of a car? It's at a house party.
thinking that might be what it was. The man was killed early Saturday, May fourth. I think I think that's got to be it because the other one seemed like in the afternoon, like three thirty something. This one seems like it's early in the morning, early morning hours Saturday. Officers were called to the scene about 1.25 a.m. on a report of a person shot. The Peoria Police Department said in a news release they found an adult male with an apparent gunshot wound inside a vehicle that was struck by gunfire. Life-saving measures. Is That's crazy. That's got to be him because I don't see nothing else in that happened at 1.25 a.m. and they said he got killed at a house party. So when you start connecting the dots, you can actually draw a line and that's got to be talking about him right there. So it probably happened around 1 o'clock. Somebody called the police. They found T. Slick. Dead, man. Damn. R.I.P. to T. Slick, man. You know, I think he had a bright future. There was a lot of people drawn to him, just like King A.K. said. There was a lot of people drawn to him for what reason, we don't know, but he had a lot of people, you know, saying R.I.P. to the man, so evidently he had a, he had a warm spot in a lot of people's hearts, and uh, it's just very sad and unfortunate that he had to go out this way, because I know he had a decent head on his shoulder, he had spent 10 years in prison, so I know they gave him a lot of time to think about things, hey, is this really worth it, but shout out Chief Keith for putting money on the man's books while he was in prison, because, you know, he went to jail, for defending you in that shootout with the police, man. So, you know, shout out uh, Chief Keith, man, and the RP to T. Slick. Hate you had to lose another family member and somebody that was so close to the entourage, man. Because if you really just go back and look at a lot of those old videos from the 600 days, from the, you know, the early old block days, the people that was with Chief Keith, the people that was with Lil Durk, people that was with the FBG Duck, man. So many people have dead, gone dead and lost their lives. The senseless gun violence, man, is over a gang, over parts of the streets, parts of a neighborhood, an apartment complex, or whatever the case may be that these people will never own. People just claim these just for clout. People just claim these for, you know, these different reasons, man, but it's all stupid reasons because none of these streets, apartment buildings, or anything like that is worth any of these people's life. And it's not worth nobody going to prison for life. And uh, I know a lot of these murders go unsolved because... It's just nobody talking. It happens so much. Gang violence is kind of like drug deals. The police will only go so far without people giving them information, basically putting it in front of them, laying it on the desk and saying, hey, this is what we got. This is what we know. Um, they only go so far searching, you know, and, it, and it's unfortunate that it's happening and it goes like that, but that's just the way the system works when you're involving gang deaths and drug deaths, man. They really don't want to put too much work into them. They want people to give the work to them. That's why they say, you know, call in if you got any information, no leads right now to anybody who could have had done it. But I'm pretty sure if you go online and look at people's Instagrams, look at people's Twitters, they're probably posting stuff like, oh, slick back uh, with a hair comb or something, you know, throwing subliminal signs like, yeah, we're the ones, we're the ones responsible for that shit, man. But, man, it's all bullshit. R.I.P. T. Sleep, man. You know, uh, condolences to his family. I know it's a hard time for them right now. Hopefully, they get through it easier than um, easiest they can is the best way. But it's always hard when you lose somebody, man, especially a loved one. It's always hard, man. But, you know, uh, let's see if Trench is lose. You know, usually he's got a story. Trench's news knows a lot of these people. And uh, maybe he's got maybe he's got something that he's he spoke about right here. Yeah. With FanDuel, your group chat will be blowing up every game of the NBA playoffs. Because right now, a lot of people was talking shit about Trenches News too for being a fed and. Y'all long live Slick man, long live T Slick man. Y'all had just got on now. You know what I'm saying? Just as much as just as much. They was all his homies in one way or another. Um so he did so he did the years for the shooting at age. Um he did a shooting and um caught a lot of attempts towards the police officers. Not towards the game, it was towards the police officers. And he ended up after doing eleven years. He came home and y'all seen him. He get a lot of respect from everywhere, bro. 
he got a lot of respect from like every block, bro. Every BD block, every stone, anybody block who been locked up with slick. They ain't gonna never disrespect.